Okay, so we're just doing the chicken right now. Well, my mom's mainly doing the chicken because she has more experience when it comes to deboning stuff and just handling meat than me at the moment. The bones. So bones and water at the moment? Bones, bones, water, and a little bit of vinegar. Vinegar, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because what, what are you doing with this? That's going to be a part of the stock. Okay, so part the of the... Ramen stock. A part of the, like... The broth. Yeah. I, I legit forgot. Say broth. Yeah. Alright. Always make sure. So how long is this going to cook for? At what temperature? This is just going to boil up for... Oh, but the longer the better. We're going to marinate the chicken for an hour and a half. Thereabouts. Okay, hour and a half to two hours to marinate, and this will probably cook for about the same. Okay. Okay. And it's being cooked at medium high. Now. Now we have our, ch have our chicken breasts in there. And we're going to add garlic. Okay, garlic. What else are we going to add? Yeah. Olive oil. And remember, we want this to marinate, so we need a nice bit of olive oil, about a quarter cup. That's good. And then we're going to add our nice salt. Okay. Not a lot, because we don't want it to be too salty. And black pepper. Okay. Okay. And then we'll just give it a stir. I'll put the link to the recipe we're going off of in the description, okay? That's what I do, guys. And then we're just going to mix it around here. And then this, just get it nice for when we're ready to cook it on the grill. It is on the grill? Oh, sorry, no, not the grill. In the fry pan. Okay, okay some people, a Japanese or Chinese dish, they would do it in a wok, but I'm not doing a wok. And then this is just going to marinate all in there. Alright. Make sure you get all your garlic. And then I'll just disperse it around here. Okay. okay. So it has that on it. That's good. Cover it over. Alright, and how is this, how long is this going to be marinating for? About, Probably an hour and a half to two hours, just so it has a good marinade. It's All time right. to absorb the spice there, the garlic, and I just lost my... Yeah, so in the recipe we saw, where it's supposed to marinate for one hour, but we're going to do it for a little bit longer than an hour. Alright, so the chicken bones have now been boiled, and we have the broth from the bones and everything. Just in, the bones. Just, just the bones in here. And then we're going to start on everything else in a bit. All right, so what are we doing now? We are cutting up the garlic. I mean the ginger, sorry. Ginger. We've done the gin, we've done the onions, the nice red onions, and then we have to do the ginger and just mince it all nicely. And then we also have the, well, we boiled the chicken bones. And now we have the nice little broth here that we're going to be adding to. And yeah, so this is it so far. All right. And then we're going to be doing the chicken in this. Yep. Put the oil here. Put that on. And then we're going to go grab the chicken. All right, then what are we doing over here? Okay, well, I'm just going to add in to the, to the actual stock that we um, cooked down from the chicken bones. I'm just going to add a little bit of just chicken broth as well just for some extra flavor in there. Not a lot. Yep, still looks good though. Still got a nice chickeny flavor. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be adding soy sauce and sriracha sauce to it. Um, yep. I'm not using fish sauce, but we'll use This is the uh, sauce we're using. All right, now what are we doing here? Cutting up the bell peppers. All right. What's a falafel? 
All right. Oh, Kenzie, do you legit? Yes. I'm not trying. Not yet. When someone. Exactly. So Oh. All right. All right. What's what are we doing next? Oh, more peppers, right? So we have orange peppers, red peppers. Now we got yellow pepper. Yellow pepper, right? Sophia's. Oh, sorry. No, it's all good. Sophia. All right. Doing the yellow peppers. Looking good. So how's your day been? Good. This takes a lot of preparation, you know. This dish. Alright guys, so now the chicken here has been... Oh, that smells so good. You're smelling the oil. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> All right. Um, we're now do so. The chicken has been marinating for about an hour and a half to two hours. Any more than two hours? No, no, but an hour, like an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Looks so good. My goodness. Come on, get out of there. We have the oven on so the chicken can stay warm and not go cold. Watch for the splatter. Oh my word. Oh, it looks so good. All right, all the peppers are now cut up. We have the chicken frying up in the pan. And then are we going to be starting this now? Shortly, yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay, yes. <clears throat> and there's two guys standing there. And All right. they're complaining about it. They're complaining about it. Nice. And then, by the way, there, and this is a young kid. All right. What are we doing now? So, we have the broth. Okay, ready? We have to open up the container. Container being opened. No, we don't. I don't yeah. know. How much is we adding? One. I'm going to do this first. Two tablespoons of soy. We'll see where we're at when we get there. We might need a little bit more. Because okay. again, the recipe that we were are using is a little different than, just need to mix this up, than the other one. So we're sort of doing it to taste. Okay. Okay. Sriracha chili sauce. I'm going to use a tablespoon. Tablespoon of sriracha? Mm hmm. Or sriracha? Yep. Yep. Well, it's funny because. Salt? Not much. Okay. Salt. And dives. And dives pepper. Sriracha sauce. All right, pepper. Mm hmm. What else are we putting? Can't believe it, but he did. Okay. All right. That's good for the time being. Nice aroma up here. Yep. What are we putting in now? Just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce. Can you get the... Uh... That smells so good. We were just checking to see if everything is cooked inside, and yes it is. Oh, nicely done up. All right, chicken's out. We're leaving that in there to add the flavor when we do everything else. We're gonna put some tin foil over this, just to keep it hot. In the oven. In the oven. So it will dry out, because the oven's just going to... Gonna put that in for a little nap. What are we doing here? Putting water in a pot. Nice. To get ready for it to, to boil it to put my noodles in when we're ready. And now for the finishing part of the dish, we're starting to do up the vegetables. So 
as you can see, broccoli is starting to get cut. And then we're going to put a bunch of other stuff. We're going to put our onion and our peppers and everything. We're going to put all that in there as well. Okay. Just a little bit more. More olive oil. A little bit more, not a lot. Ginger now. Mm -hmm. Did ask for more garlic, but I think I'm just going to stick to the ginger. All right, so what do we put in now? What do those look like? Onions. There we go. Is it, have you put anything else in though? No, nope, I just yet. got back. I had to tell Dad to be ready for supper. There we go, bell peppers going in. Just get all the flavors in there. Little bit of the mixture we made. All right, broccoli's now gone in. Let's take a smell in there. It smells so good in there. Oh my goodness. Just another little bit for a minute. Go some more of that flavor in there. All gonna. You spilled some. I did. I know. I hit my... So you're putting the rest of the sauce in? Mm-hmm. You're leaving any extra? I think you're going to have to have it all in here okay. to cook. Okay. It's really good, though. That just looks so good. Now we cook this. All right. Put in nice little noodles in. Nice. Two. Three. See. That is five. four. That's five? five. Oh, that's five. Yeah. Nice. See what that does. And just the smells coming off of this are so good right now. We got all this here. We got the noodles starting to cook up here. We got the chicken nicely cooking in the oven. You guys can't see it right now, but you'll see it when it's done. <laughs> I'm set I'm setting the... I'm setting up the I'm uh setting up the bowls right now to do the plating. That's my job. And then I'm also going to be doing the egg soon as well. And we added one more noodle just to be sure. Got this all cooking up in here. It's going to be good. Oh, wow. Look at all of them. Mine and someone else's. Maybe Shannon's. But, <laughs> but I think... Yeah, we have enough. Hey... I let it. Mm, looks so good. All right, give me a sec, guys. I need to resituate my hands for one second. The camera's gonna shake. I hope I do this right. Yes, I did. I cracked the yolk. I cracked the yolk. That sucks. That's okay. All right, so after I accidentally cracked the egg, or the yolk, I mean, I'm hopefully not going to do that again. Hopefully I can get an actual good-looking egg, even though all eggs are good and tasty. But yeah. All right, there's mine. When, well, not mine, but the next one we did. My mom's going to crack one as well. Hey. Didn't get two of them going here. Yeah. Yep. That's all got really nice. All right. You know, I think I'm going to do it differently. Yeah. Mm. Noodles going in. Hey. So good.
And then he's going to add his chicken. Danny's going to plate this, and then he's going to add his chicken and the egg. Mm-hmm. All right. We have the noodles and everything in the bowl now, and then I just need to finish plating. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, guys, that is how you make a uh, ramen dinner, or that's at least how we made our ramen dinner, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please consider to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content in the future. And as always, have fun, be safe, and a peace. I am out. See you guys in the next one.